Today is the fourth Sunday in Advent. This Friday is the Vigil and the Nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ and a day of fast and complete abstinence. On this day, let us consider our gifts to the Christ child, which we will deliver on the next day. Have we finished our Christmas shopping? Saturday is the Nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ and a holy day of obligation. Let us observe it as a holy day and pray that next year we may assist at Holy Mass and thus make it a true Christmas. In the introit we pray, Drop down, do ye heavens from above, and let the clouds rain the just. Let the earth be opened and bud forth the Savior. The heavens show forth the glory of God, and the firmament declares the work of his hands. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, or without end. Amen. Prayer of the Church Stir up, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy power, and come, and succor us with great might, that by the help of thy grace, that which our sins do hinder, may be hastened by the bounty of thy mercy, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us consider this, that which our sins do hinder. Are our sins hindering the restoration of the Mass? Let us prepare for Christmas, and for a true Christmas. May God in his mercy forgive us our sins, and help us remove sin completely from our lives. And the epistle is of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, let a man so account of us as the ministers of Christ, and the dispensers of the mysteries of God. Here now it is required among the dispensers that a man be found faithful. But to me it is a very small thing to be judged by you or by man's day. But neither do I judge my own self, for I am not conscious to myself of anything. Yet I am I not hereby justified, but he that judges me is the Lord. Therefore judge not before the time until the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness, and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts, and then shall every man have praise from God. But neither do I judge my own self. Truly, no man is a good judge of his own self. These words are read to us today because many had the custom of this week making a thorough confession of their sins in preparation to celebrate Christmas. Let us examine our conscience well and remove all of our sinful habits and present our soul pure and undefiled at the feet of the Christ child on Christmas morning. Please stand for the Gospel. <coughs> and the Gospel is taken from St. Luke. Now in the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea, and Herod being tetrarch of Galilee, and Philip his brother, tetrarch of Euteria, and the country of Trachonitis, and Lysanias, tetrarch of Abilina. Under the high priest Annas and Caiaphas, the word of the Lord was made unto John the son of Zachary in the desert. And he came into all the country about the Jordan, preaching the baptism of penance for the remission of sins. As it was written in the book of the sayings of the Isaiah the prophet, A voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight his path. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways plain. And all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Please be seated. Preaching the baptism of penance for the remission of sins. We are all penitents, and therefore must live like penitents. We must live a life of penance, self-denial, and detachment from the world. For what is the world? It is a place of temporary exile before we go to our true home in heaven. A voice of one crying in the wilderness. Since we are also in the wilderness spiritually now, as the church, we should consider what does the wilderness mean spiritually. Wilderness means a place of desertion, deprivation, and want. We desert the world and deprive ourselves of its false pleasures because we want true happiness which comes only from union with God. The Latin word, which is translated as wilderness, has several meanings, including solitude. St. Alphonsus says, 
souls that feel a strong attraction for solitude, for they know that God converses familiar with those who shun the noise and distractions of the world. O oh, blessed solitude, exclaimed St. Jerome, in which God with loving condescension deals familiar with chosen souls. God does not speak in those places where time is squandered in loud laughter and idle talk. And as I said a moment ago, the wilderness has a special meaning for us like it did for the Maccabees, as we read in the first book of Maccabees. Her sanctuary was desolate like a wilderness. Her festival days were turned into mourning, her Sabbaths into reproach, her honors were brought to nothing. Indeed, that's what we see in the world and the church today. But there is hope. We will come forth from the wilderness and into a glorious time when the whole world will convert. And let us convert ourselves today to Almighty God. Let us retire into solitude and quiet and pray to Almighty God and ask Him to help us convert and become totally attached to Him. And in the communion verse we read, Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bring forth a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel. We are here reminded of the perpetual virginity of the most blessed Virgin Mary. And let us never forget our dear mother, who loves us so much. Let us ask her to help us to convert today. And in the post-communion we pray, Having received thy gifts, we beseech you, O Lord, that with the frequentation of this mystery, the work of our salvation may advance. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh yes, let us advance the work of our salvation, for this is the only important thing in life. Oh,